You are tuned in to On Air with Chris Shanafel. Welcome back on air as we continue our player spotlight series with the 2020 NFL draft class. I'm your host, Chris Shanafel, and I'm now joined by arguably the top small school prospect in the country. He's the very first player to come out of Lenore Ryan University and receive an invite to next week's NFL scouting combine in Indianapolis. It's a pleasure to welcome onto the show safety Kyle Duggar. And Kyle, really appreciate you taking the time this morning. Hope all is well. Can you believe that your time as a college athlete has come and gone, and now here you are preparing for the NFL? Uh, even if I don't believe it, I mean, it's here, so I guess I, I kind of do. Uh, it, it rolls by pretty fast, so I was proud that it's already, it's already over with. And going back to your high school days, Kyle, you, you weren't one of these highly heralded athletes. If I'm not mistaken, you were only a starter for one season. Take us through what the recruiting process was like for you coming out of Whitewater High School in Georgia, and why did you ultimately feel that Lenore Ryan University in Hickory, North Carolina, uh, would be the best fit for you? Uh, recruiting actually didn't start off too slow for me. Um, as far as interest, I was had a lot of interest from one AA schools, but I didn't have any offers. Um, so the offers really never came until the end, and they were all from small schools, and out of the out of the three small schools that offered me, Lenore Ryan was the uh, was the most prestigious as far as their program, and they they were ranked number two or number four in the country at the time in Division Two. So I feel like it'd be best to continue my career at a good Division Two program if I was going to play small school ball. Right, I believe it was the year before you went there. They were uh, represented, of course, in the D2 National Championship game. You would go on to redshirt your first year at Lenore Ryan and sit behind some really talented upperclassmen in the defensive backfield. But then the following year, in 2015, you started all 10 games. You had a really big impact on the defense. And um, you were named the conference's defensive freshman of the year. You posted 43 tackles, a team-high four interceptions, and two fumble recoveries. What allowed you to have the immediate success that you had um, that retro freshman year? I feel like my time away spent uh, when I was red shirting, I really took full advantage of that as far as physically getting my body right and uh, mentally. So um, definitely increased the hunger and passion that I had for the game. So. When I came back, it was definitely a, a chip on my shoulder and my body and mind was right and ready to go for that season. And again, since then, you, you've been one of the top players at the Division II level. After that prolific start to your collegiate career, you would only play in one game the following season. You were granted a, a medical red shirt um, due to injury. How tough was it to sit out basically the entire season, especially coming off of a, a successful start your freshman season? I'm sure expectations were through the roof, and for your season to end uh, in the very first game, I'm sure that's a hard pill to swallow, Kyle. How'd you overcome that? I actually didn't play any games. That's uh, kind of like a myth that keeps coming up. People mm. saying, I'll tell you one game, I never played any games. I got hurt the fourth day of camp. But uh, it was uh, definitely difficult for me. Um, seeing the entire season, you know, and as far as everything that was going on, we were pretty much getting blown out every game and it was definitely hard to watch and not have to be able to do anything about it so um it was definitely something that that changed my perspective on the game and and i feel like it had a huge impact on my career you would then come back it seemed like better than ever the next uh three seasons you're voted all conference the last two seasons as a junior and senior you were first team all conference and as impressive as your play is on the defensive side of the ball, Kyle, your, your, your play on special teams is just as impressive. Of course, you have six career punt returns. How much do you enjoy that part of the game, and is that something that you're looking forward to doing uh, even more so at the next level? Uh, I definitely look forward to doing that. Um, it's something that having a ball in my hands, you know, is something that I feel like it's, you know, it's just a lot of fun, period, regardless of how you have it in your hands. So being able to make an impact um, and get in the end zone maybe on something other than defense, just another opportunity to create, to make a play. And that's always fun. I feel like. 
and you see that return man ability when you do force a turnover on defense, whether it's an interception or picking up a forced fumble. You've made uh, you made a lot of noise doing that as well uh, over the years. And, of course, the Cliff Harris Award is given to the top small school defensive player in the country. So far, I've had the pleasure of interviewing every player that has won that award, so thanks for keeping that streak going uh, this morning, Kyle. How much did it mean to you to win that award? Oh, it was huge. Just um, what that award represented and who Cliff Harris was in himself, uh, the Hall of Famer, safety was, it was huge to be able to represent him and represent that award and it said a lot about what they thought about me and my season. Right, I mean, it says a ton. It says a ton, I mean, especially since you missed the final game, uh, five games of the season, your impact was certainly felt both when you're on the field and unfortunately off the field as well. When did it hit you, though, Kyle, that you truly had a chance at playing in the NFL? Uh, you know, it, it's not every year there's a prospect coming out of Lenore Ryan University, uh, especially when there's talk about, you know, possible late first round, um, certainly a day two lock uh, in yourself. When did it realize, when did you realize that the NFL was within your reach? I um, must say my, my freshman, the race for you, actually, um, going through camp, I was able to have a really good camp. And though I registered, it felt like uh, just being on the field again, I could feel that the opportunity it felt really good and uh, everything. It just felt different being able to play again after, especially when, after what I went through in, uh, in high school. So just stepping on the field again and being able to continue playing the game at the collegiate level. That was the next step for me, and that was something I feel like was a possibility, even as a redshirt. You know, I'm curious, Kyle, when did this growth spurt hit you? I'm sure if you were 6'1", 217, coming out of high school, you'd have a lot of Division One offers. I, I, I know in an interview with the uh, NFL Network, um, you, you told them that you were 5'6", going back to your freshman year. I believe your senior year, you grew a few more inches to, to five, uh, 5'10", 5'11", um, and now here you are 6'1". When did this growth spurt uh, hit you, and do, do you feel that your size at all, um, how are you able to kind of use that as a weapon, if at all? Uh, it hit me probably my junior and senior year were probably the biggest years for me, uh, growth spurt. Well, I actually think I shrunk, to be honest. I thought I was at a good 6'2", but <laughs> uh, I guess not. But it uh, I definitely impacts my game in the fact, especially um, – when my body caught up because, you know, I was able to, I was always a physical player, but um, when my body kind of caught up, it kind of made it, it made a difference in the way that when I was physical, it impacted the defense different. So that when I would hit somebody, you know, when I was 180, it wouldn't, you know, darn and knock them out. Uh, you know, when I was 215, it would, they felt a little more. So <laughs> definitely had an impact. Again, we're chatting with 2020 NFL Draft Prospect Safety Kyle Duggar out of Lenore Ryan University. And, Kyle, you were the only Division II player represented in the Reese Senior Bowl last month. How big of an opportunity was that for you to prove yourself to all 32 NFL teams that you belonged? That was huge. Um, I feel like that was probably one of the only opportunities I would have um, this early on to, to prove that I could play at that, at that level. So it was definitely huge for me to take advantage of that. And it was a lot of fun to be able to get on the field and, and compete with those guys and kind of shut that question up uh, early on and, and just really have fun and compete at a, at a high level. Big and, thing for me. And I know you're on the watch list before this season, for so for you to capitalize during your season um, in the games that you played at, uh, seven games that you played in during the season, again, winning the Cliff Harris Award, um, kind of, exceeding the expectations that people already had of you in the past and to receive that invite to the Reese Senior Bowl. I know there's a video out there when you got the news, and uh, that's that's always great to see. I'm sure you were able to meet with uh, just about all 32 NFL teams down in Mobile, Alabama. Kyle, we're based out of Chicago. The Bears are in the market for another safety to play opposite side of Eddie Jackson. I think it could be a match made in heaven, and general manager Ryan Pace sure has a thing for small school prospects. Any chance you're able to meet with the Bears at all, and how much would uh, would you like to be a part of a defense with names such as Eddie Jackson and Khalil Mack? Uh, yeah, I actually 
did have an opportunity to meet with the Bears, but, you know, being a part of, you know, a defense with those two guys, it'd be huge just because, you know, playing with players at, of that caliber will only elevate my game, and, and it'd definitely be something that I will always look forward to, you know, playing with good players, just what you can learn from them and, and how they affect you and how they make you better, how they push you to be better. So playing against, playing with somebody like Khalil Mack and Eddie Jackson would be huge. And I definitely, you know, it'd be an honor to be able to step on the field with guys who take the game seriously and, and play at an elite level. A few more questions for Kyle Duggar, 2020 NFL Draft Prospect Safety on Division II's Lenore Ryan University. And, uh, Kyle, many people haven't heard of Lenore Ryan University, at least not in the football world. Does it mean anything to you that, in a sense, you're you're putting the Lenore Ryan Bears football program on the map? Uh, Yeah, because uh, if I hadn't, you know, if I hadn't been given an opportunity to play at this school, there's a, there's a strong chance, a very strong chance I wouldn't be in this position that I am. So it definitely, you know, it's good that I could help out a program that gave me the opportunity to continue playing um, the game I love. At 6 one two seventeen, some people think that uh, you, you could play some money back or kind of like what we've seen in the past with Dayon Buchanan or Mark Barron. Um, is there any truth to that? Are, are, are teams discussing that with you at all? Uh, or have the conversations been all about, uh, you know, the last line of defense at safety? Uh, early on, there was a lot, of, a lot of talk about that. <clears throat> and, but uh, kind of at the end of the senior, week, senior bowl or during the senior bowl week, it wasn't a huge amount of talk about that. There was definitely still in the conversation. Um, but it was more a little more safety talk um, during the senior bowl week, but I definitely have been still hearing that from some people. And as I mentioned in the opening, you're the first player to come out of Lenore Ryan to receive an invite to the NFL Scouting Combine, which takes place next week in Indianapolis. Where are you currently training at for that? And there's been some rumblings, Kyle, that you might run a 4-3 and jump a 40-inch vertical. Can you confirm any of that? So I can confirm that, I, that I'm going to be giving a great effort. I, that is the goal, <laughs> um, to, to run and jump. But I certainly think I have the capability of doing so. So making sure that my body is ready and, and ready to perform at its best is definitely something that I'm going to be making sure I do. But um, I'm, pre- I'm training out, out here in uh, Proactive in California, um, Santa Ana, California. And, and is there any nerves heading into the NFL scouting combine? Were there any nerves heading into the uh, Senior Bowl, maybe going to a big event like the Senior Bowl? Has, has that kind of calmed your nerves as you get ready for the NFL combine? So I, I feel like it was definitely some nerves, but I feel like it was kind of uh, overridden by by anxiety or anxiousness. I was very anxious to go, not necessarily anxiety, but I was very anxious to, to prove, you know, that I could that I should be there and take advantage of the opportunity and just kind of do what I love to do. So it kind of was just um, I didn't really feel the nerves as much as I felt uh, anxious, and I feel like combine is going to be similar. And for those not familiar with your game, Kyle, I mean, it's kind of hard to, to track down Lenore Ryan football games. Uh, you can stream them, though, on the Internet. Uh, but for those not familiar with your game, I mean, how would you describe it? Would you say, uh, what would you say are the strengths you bring to a defense and, and special teams core, for that matter? Um, I feel like my strengths are my versatility, uh, the ability to be able to play in the box, um, and kind of have that presence of a linebacker as well as, drop in the zones and, and play deep coverage, deep half-field coverage and man coverage and things like that. So versatility and and the, uh, the ability to be able to play multiple spots on the field, I think, is one of my biggest strengths. And also on special teams, um, I played all four special teams and I've been able to return as well. So I think, you know, having that, that experience definitely goes a long way as well. No doubt about it. Uh, who are you looking forward to playing against the most at the next level? It could be a quarterback. It could be a receiver, running back, any position. Uh, is there a specific player you're looking forward to uh, playing up against? Uh, honestly, I'm looking forward to playing in every single one of them. But if, there, if I had to pick out somebody, it would probably be Tom Brady just because of his uh, who he is and his greatness and you know to be able to play against somebody 
that's definitely going to, you know, be something I'm looking forward to more than, maybe more than uh, anybody else just because of who he is. Yeah, and obviously just to have the opportunity of, of playing arguably the greatest quarterback of all time, uh, you know, at, at the age that he is, uh, you know, that that alone would be a pretty cool, I got to think. Final question, then we'll let you go, Kyle. Really appreciate your time. Let's say we have all 32 NFL general managers listening to this very interview. Why should they want Kyle Duggar out of Lenore Ryan University, a part of their team? Uh, they just want me because I'm going to bring uh, a work ethic to the locker room and I'm going to make a difference in, on and off the field uh, however I can, regardless of if that's you know, playing on special teams. I'm going to make a difference and have an impact on the team. Um, in a locker room, and also I'm going to bring, uh, I'm going to make sure that I get the most out of my situation and my ability in whatever system I'm in. Hey, well said, well said. Well, Kyle, really appreciate your time. Uh, congratulations on all the success up to this point, the career at Lenore Ryan. Uh, you know, one of the best, if not the best player in Mobile, Alabama at the Senior Bowl. And now as you get prepared for the NFL Scouting Combine and um, your stock is only up from here. It's been great to watch from afar and uh, really looking forward to seeing what the next couple of months bring for you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that.